Can you imagine knowing how much pollution you are exposed to at every step of your journey? You could change your trip to avoid pollution peaks or give local authorities real-time data that could help them find effective solutions. Your smartphone can be your ally. You can hook it up to a sensor box which works out how much pollution there is wherever you are. Every Aware is the name of a project financed by the European Union that makes this happen. The air quality research, what we used to do was work with really uh, expensive measurement devices, uh, which are located at a few places in town. Now we can go around and measure whatever we want. And it gives us also much more an idea of what we are really ourselves exposed to, what we really breathe. And here it is. At the moment it's just a black box and um, inside this box there are eight different gas sensors. Air is sucked in through this hole here and it comes out the other way. And in the meanwhile there are the sensors measure uh, different components, pollutants like CO, NO, NO2 and VOC. It's just very simple. We, uh, you have to switch on this uh, sensor box using a battery. Then you make a connection with your uh, smartphone. So this is the AirProbe app, which you, you can freely down, download from uh, an app store. And you can track yourself on your smartphone and the measurements are loaded on your smartphone as well so that you get real-time information about the air quality. It receives uh, information from all the different gas sensors inside the sensor box. At the moment we are around 3 micrograms per cube meter black carbon, which is rather low. If we move and we go to um, places with heavy traffic, for example, um, concentrations will go up. Okay, let's try. You're actually monitoring, I mean, what is going on in terms of black carbon. You can actually monitor the value of the specific individual sensors. The situation is you go home, you log in on the server, and you can actually see all your traces. The ICT offers you the opportunity to collect this data uh, distributed over um, in the whole city so everyone can carry the box and the smartphone and gets the data and then um, we collect it centrally and using a kind of server to do this analysis. You can use the web as a sort of lab in which you can actually bring people virtually in order to complete specific tasks and basically to run experiments. So it's the same experiments I mean social scientists are doing in the lab now they can also do through the web. This is one point. And the other point is through, I mean, really ICT-like sensors and smartphones, because through them you can engage people. You can try to engage them in monitoring their environment and give us their perception of what is going on.